Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture we're going to look at S3 Object Lock and Glacier Vault Lock and both of them are very similar um, to each other. One works for S3 and one works for Glacier. So what is S3 Object Lock? Well, you can use S3 Object Lock to store objects using a write once, read many model or a worm model and it can help you prevent objects from being deleted or modified for a fixed amount of time or indefinitely. So if you've got an object and you don't want somebody to be able to go in and modify it, so you know change the data inside it, or you don't want them to be able to delete it, you can use S3 object locked to basically lock that object so it becomes basically unmodifiable and undeletable. So you can use S3 object lock to meet your regulatory requirements that require worm storage, or you can use it to add an extra layer of protection against object changes and deletion. And it comes in a couple of different modes. We've got governance mode. And in governance mode, users can't overwrite or delete an object version or alter its lock settings unless they have special permissions. So with governance mode, you can protect objects against being deleted by most users, but you can still grant some users permissions to alter the retention settings or delete the object if necessary. So governance modes basically locks it down to users who have a set of special permission. Now this is opposed to compliance mode. In compliance mode, a protective object version can't be overwritten or deleted by any user including the root user in your AWS account. So governance mode, you can um, go in and alter it, but you need special permissions. With compliance mode, even the root user cannot do it. So when an object is locked in compliance mode, its retention mode can't be changed and the retention period can't be shortened. Compliance mode ensures an object version can't be overwritten or deleted for the duration of the retention period. And retention periods is basically um, a period that protects an object version for a fixed amount of time. So it might be a week, might be a month, might be a year, etc. Um, so when you place a retention period on an object version, S3 stores a timestamp in the um, object's version metadata um, to indicate when the retention period is going to expire. And then after the retention period expires, the object version can then be overwritten or deleted uh, by the user unless you've also placed a legal hold on the object's version. You're probably wondering what a legal hold is. S3 Object Locks also enables you to place a legal hold on an object's version. And like a retention period, a legal hold prevents an object version from being overwritten or deleted. However, a legal hold doesn't have an associated retention period and remains in effect until removed. Legal holds can be freely placed and removed by any user who has the S3 put object legal hold permission. So that is S3 object lock. Let's move on to Glacier Vault Lock. Glacier Vault Lock basically allows you to easily deploy and enforce compliance controls to individual S3 Glacier Vaults with a Vault Lock policy. And you can specify controls such as worm in a vault lock policy and lock the policy for future edits. Once locked, the policy can no longer be changed. So it's just a way of locking your objects inside of Glacier, similar to S3 object lock. So onto my exam tips. Just remember going into your exam, if you see something talks about a worm model, you need to lock uh, an object um, using a write once, read many model. Then you can use S3 object lock. Object locks can be on individual objects or they can be applied across the bucket as a whole. Object locks come in two modes, governance modes and compliance mode. If you remember, governance mode users can't overwrite or delete an object version or alter its lock settings unless they have special permissions. With compliance mode though, a protected um, object's version can't be overwritten or deleted by any user, including the root user in your account. And then finally, just remember what S3 Glacier Vault Lock is. It allows you to easily deploy and enforce compliance controls for individual S3 Glacier Vaults with a Vault Lock policy. And you can specify controls such as worm in a Vault Lock policy and lock the policy from future edits. And once locked, the policy can no longer be changed. So really you just need to go into your exam understanding the difference between object lock and S3 Glacier Vault Lock. Um, object lock is for S3 objects in S3. S3 Glacier Vault Lock is for, you know, vaults inside of Glacier. 
And then just remember with S3 object lock, you've got different modes. You've got your governance mode and you've got your compliance mode. And in compliance mode, even the root user can't go in and delete that object. So that is it for this lecture, everyone. If you have any questions, please let me know. If not, feel free to move on to the next lecture. Thank you.